So this is a bit of a slightly different type of a video where I'm not going to actually take you through the installation of this because basically the installation is just a Calamari installer. But what I'm going to show you is what uh, Kubernetes Linux looks like while it's running Hyperland, which is exactly what I'm running at the moment. Uh, and let me tell you, it's running like an absolute dream. You can see here, Kubernetes Linux, uh, latest kernel, and of course, uh, running Hyperland. And I don't have any issues with uh, Hyperland or Wayland, and when with the sign using radio. And if you look at Garuda's website, I mean, you go to downloads, etc., and you're not actually going to find it there. Uh, you know, on the website, they talk about uh, KDE, GNOME, Cinnamon, XFCE, Lance, Wayfire, Sway, i3, Qtile, etc. You actually don't find this Hyperland edition. And what I discovered was going on the website, it was this Hyperland community section. And over here, there is a section about Hyperland downloads. And as I was going through this, uh, a website, I actually found a couple of links and I found this uh, directory of which I opened and I actually went to my downloaded this Garuda Hyperland Linux in uh, ISO, mounted it and wrote the disk and did all the normal things and I was very surprised it went and booted up straight into I planned, and that's what I'm actually going to show you today is a little bit of how I planned uh, looks uh, using the Ruda. It's not a official release yet. It looks like this is something that's being done by the community. So I would uh, caution you on that. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's what I did. Just got the latest ISO and I waited and installed it and didn't have many problems. Uh, the only thing is, after I installed it, the, what had happened was the high-planned configuration file had been lost. So literally all I did was, I ran this command after updating it. I ran command, and then it was fine. So it was basically, the process was install via the install it, input, update it, reboot, open up a terminal, and run this. Cool, so... I see there's still discussion on Garuda's forums whether they're going to make the Hyperland edition a fresh edition or not, but I can tell you we're running it for a bit and it's absolutely fantastic. And this is coming from someone that's uh, never really used tiling uh, interfaces a lot. My usage comes from the i3 days. So essentially, of course, how when it boots up, pretty uh, Miller, so you you know start up, you got this, you have a wallpaper, and essentially at the top here, I'm going to start off, you have uh, a clicking you have a launcher. Okay. And you can click on what, whatever application you want. And, you know, um, it'll load there, for example, see Werewolf. And, uh, you know, you can close it normally there if you want. Uh, the other way, of course, is by using the super key and B, you get 12. And we can, of course, type in whatever you want, Brave or Octopi or HTOP and OBS, etc. Right, and we just hit Escape there. So that is the option there. If there's any updates, of course, if you're in the background, there's already an update uh, for Hyperland Git. Uh, this cheat option that you move the mouse is fantastic because of what it does, it gives you a quick little menu of the most common, I suppose, you could say key bindings. If at least if you do know these, you can get yourself around uh, the system. So for example, you know, to uh, open up files, uh, command and end or circuit key and end, etc. That was really great, really works out pretty well. And again, if you, for example, on power key, command shift E, if you, you would get that and just, it just get that. Uh, if you want the full launch and you don't want to click command shift D, same launch comes up, hit escape, uh, and open the browser, 
etc. But I'll, I'll demonstrate some of these in a little bit. And I'll just hit escape there. It's a really, really great option if you just getting started. And the next one here, of course, shows you the total CPU usage. If you click on that, it opens up HTOP. And uh, out of the box, really, the memory usage I found was that the Eastern Month was about 900 megs before I loaded much, much of anything else. So I haven't used too much memory here. And network in and out, Wi Fi, uh, volume. Of course, if I click on the volume, it opens up a whole different. Uh, normal volume control here separately uh cuts of course if i click on that it'll show me the nice items so that i copied and pasted and i click here can just change the space and format of the time and date uh, no right clicking doesn't work and let me show you a couple of windows over uh, here so i'm in the main window so i'm gonna do Go to Workspace 3, which is Command 3, and open up a couple of items. So let's come open up Fire Dragon. The Fire Dragon might have opened up in the first screen. So here this is Fire Dragon. So we'll just Command or Super Key Shift 3, and we'll send it to Search Workstation over here, which is how I wanted. And let me open up something else here. So Virtual and should manager. Not the terminal, make two terminals. Another application. Doesn't make really it nice worth. And of course, as it just goes on, and it automatically, uh, I plan automatically will start resizing the Windows itself, which is really great. So I can, of course, use it in the start using some of the key combos and start. I mean, in between the different uh, windows. So let's say, for example, I would want to remove this. Then what we would do is we would go the command shift and spacebar. And we see it will dock this out. I can press it in there to start making this bigger one. Move that around. Move this. I can also manually using the control keys by holding in command or super key and shift I can start moving these things around uh, automatically so let's um, focus us back on this so just uh, super key and arrow you'll see it highlights in bloom which windows in focus so let's say here I've got this uh, window here of the uh, Unibrable so I can just uh, shift and you see I've not taken it out of the B rotation as it were and put it back. And again, I can read you around however else I want it. Uh, what I can do is if I want to make it full screen, a uh, super key and F and it will make it full screen. I can go to another window here. So let's a Korean full screen. All one of the terminals and uh, full screen, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool actually. So just, and of course, again, to unscreen it. And the nice thing is, of course, while we automatically move these around, so if I go command and Q, it closes the dot and it automatically will start resizing everything. So I'll close that to resize it and I'll close that. And now we have this uh, bit of a view here. So I would say in that case, I can just change around. I have this again, I'm saying space bar, shift, and then super key. So all really, really uh, interesting way that they've done it. Um, and of course, you can move your individual windows to your different uh, virtual spaces like I have. And you can just add them for around to those spaces pretty pretty easy and simple and of course uh, what is interesting though is uh, they've really set up Thuno really nicely as the file manager looks really great uh, out of the box and absolutely no, no complaints there I've also for example in my case I've got my uh, own cloud installed no problems 
I haven't had issues with her BS yet on password. Everything just seems to work. We only need out one of, one of the downsides first because this is certainly on prototype. Is figuring out how some of the freaking settings work. So, couple of things I just well documented here. Uh, some of it is in the Git uh, work repos, etc., which makes sense. Uh, considering this is still community being built and been built up. So, what I did was, um, if you check in the in your home directory you'll see the quite a lot of stuff and that the configuration folder. So I'm just going to change this to config. So in the config folder, there's a couple of things that they've uh, set up here. So top of course, uh, user spray by this pre-configured, uh, OWAFI, the launcher, uh, XFCD4, a big section in the Steam, which of course is used for doing a couple of, I believe, X11 application settings on Win and So a few things that I, in, for example, wanted to figure out was it, it, it was by default using its own wallpaper directory of Garuda's and I wanted to change uh, my directory of wallpaper, so I had to figure out how to do it. So then, of course, I saw, well, okay, it's using WPaperD, so what I did in that case was I went to uh, WPaperD, and just this thing there, of course, uh, I'll first show you the, the back of fast. I'll just catch it. The output com dot backup. And the backup file, of course, was configured for this. So, of course, in my case, it was like already easy. Uh, I just wait and replaced it with my own output directory. And, of course, every hour, as you can see, it will magically change. Really nice, really simple. Uh, the documentation around that... Uh, Kind of had to figure that one out as well. And of course, a couple of the, the other things, if you want to configure your wave bar, or you want to make sure just to wave bar, 